not to catch traffic. It's going to be Adam, Adam Victor, 74 X ray, South Pond. Looks like we're going to pull into the laundromat here by Mills Cove. She ran over a few curbs trying to pull in here. Hello. Hello. I'm Officer Williams, Cat Police Department. So I'll pull you over because you're you're all over the place. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, I was what, talking to my boyfriend. What, what's going on with you? I was talking to my boyfriend about going to his house and. Okay. Well, in all the meantime, that. let's go ahead and turn the car off and step out for a second, okay? okay. Yeah. Where are you coming from? I was coming from my son's house. Where's your son live at? And Ward. And Ward, you step yeah. back here for me. You have a driver's license on you? Yeah. Um. Actually, both of these and. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to step back here with me? Yeah. You want to step back here? You just lean against your car there. I cannot even. I got you. Our car's over there, so just oh, lean against it. Nope, this way. This way. You good? Okay. Why don't you lean against your car here or my car, whichever. Whichever. Just find a car and lean up against it, okay? Here, go, go to your, your left here. Go this way. Go this way. Okay. There you go. Just lean up against the car so it don't fall over. Okay. Goodness gracious. Well, I'm just like all the lines. Yeah. I'm I got you. I'm sure. I was talking to my Not boyfriend the at the moment. Where do you live at? Um, at the point. At the point? Yeah. I'm Tom Thompson. I know all of Do you? How much have you had to drink tonight? Huh? How much have you had to drink Nothing. tonight? You sure? Yeah, no. Okay. Just stay right there for a second. Yeah. I'll put this back in your car here. So you, you haven't had any kind of alcoholic beverage? No. Are you taking any kind of medication that says you can't drive? Well, I have. I do take... Um, okay. Yeah. Um, did, did you have an accident in the car? Huh? Did you have an accident? You look like you... You urinated on yourself. Do you have an accident or something like that? No. No? Okay. Would you be willing to do field sobriety for me? Sure. Sure? Okay. Uh, we're going to get these lights out of your face. So we're probably going to... Yeah, we're about to turn them on, or the, the fronts anyways. But we're going to go up here where it's a little bit more level. Do you yeah, think you can, please, please. think you can make it there by yourself? Or? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right, we'll, we'll go up here where it's a little bit more level. Right okay. All right. Well, let's move up this way and we'll we'll get this going. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right there's good. Okay. That, that's fine. You good? <laughs> you got okay. Okay. Stop. 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 That's good. Okay. You good? You got yeah, your. I'm fine. You got your footing. Okay, you want to take your glasses off for me? Okay. I'll hold on to them, or I if mean, you want to put them in your pocket, whichever. I mean, I have to do a sty in my eye. You have a sty? I do have a sty in my okay. eye. Okay, okay. You want to put these in your pocket for me? Just any pocket, don't matter. Whatever, okay. Or if you want me to hold on to them, I can. Sure, okay. that's fine. <laughs> okay, so put your feet together, arms down by your side for me. 
Put your feet together, arms down by your side. Okay. Okay. Now stay in this position, told, told otherwise, you understand? Okay. Okay, have you had any recent head injuries or anything? Here, keep your no. arms down by your side. I mean, hey. I, do, I did go to my daughter's. Okay, well, quit digging in your pockets. And she did give me some stuff okay. for my stye. Okay, well, put, put your stuff back in your pocket there okay. for a second. Keep your arms down by your side. Okay. I'll stay in this position until told otherwise. You understand? Okay. okay. Have, keep, I know. Keep your arms down by your side. Okay, do not move from that position until told otherwise. You understand? Okay. Okay. Have you had any kind of recent head injuries that prevent you from taking any of these field sobriety tests? No. Okay. Um, besides the sty, is there anything wrong with your eyes? No, just my, my sty I have. Okay. Keep your arms down by your side, please. Okay. Keep your arms down by your side, please. There you go. Feet together. Keep your feet okay. together. Keep your feet together. Put your feet together. Okay. There you go. Arms down by your side. Arms down by your side. Not in front of you. By your side. Are, are we in y'all's way? Huh? You're okay. We okay. can wait. Okay. It should take just, just a minute. You're but fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, besides the sign your eye, do you have anything wrong with your eyes? No, just... No? Okay. No. All right. So for this first test, what I'm going to do, keep your arms down by the side. Can you see the tip of my finger clearly? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I begin, I'm going to move the tip of my finger left and right, and then you're going to follow with your eyes and your eyes only, keeping your head still. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Well, you gotta, you gotta follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. You understand? Yeah, you're gonna follow it this way and that way. Yes. Okay. Well, you gotta, you gotta look at the tip of my finger and you gotta follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand okay. that? Like when you go that way, I'm gonna go that way. Yes, you're gonna follow okay. with yeah. the, with your eyes and your eyes only. You understand? Yes. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Keep your head still. Oh. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try that one. Okay. Right. Okay, for this last one, I'm going to go straight up. Just follow it the best you can. If it goes outside your field of view, just keep looking up until it comes back into your line up of sight. Up and down? Yes, okay. ma'am. You understand? Yes. Okay. Keep, keep your head still there. Here, we'll try that last one like again. Like what, up and yes, just keep follow. My yep, just follow like with your here? eyes and your eyes only. Just follow with your eyes and your eyes only, keeping your head still. You understand that part? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can't see it because I know, your just do the best you can. Eyes. Just do the best you can. Okay. All right. Here, look at my finger. It's down here. There you go. See it to my finger? Mm hmm Okay, we'll try that again. You gotta look all the way up. Okay. Right down. Okay. You look good to me. I don't think she'll be fine to do this these next two. Uh there, yeah. You know, yeah, we're, we're going to step over here for these next two, okay? okay? It's still kind of slanted right there. Uh, I'm going to leave it yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You see this crack right here? Hope, oh, come back this way. Come back this way. To me. To me. To me. To yep. This way. This way. This way. To me. Come come this way. Come this way. Nope. This way. Yep. There you go. Okay, stop. Okay. 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 All right. So from this position, you're going to take your left foot, you're going to place it along that crack, okay? And then you're going to take your right foot, 
place it directly in front of your left foot. Okay, you can go ahead and get in that position now. Place your left foot on the crack, and then place your right foot directly in front of your left foot in a heel-to-toe manner. Okay, do you understand that? Like. Do exactly as I'm doing. Okay. Yep. Oh, nope. Like nope. That. Oh, yep. But don't don't start okay. yet. Okay. I'm just okay. asking. I got you. Well, I'm, I'm going to get to that. Just let me explain this to you, okay? So put your left foot on the crack. Okay. Now place your right foot directly in front of your left foot in a heel-to-toe manner with your arms down by your side. You can go ahead and get in that position now. Okay, now stay in that position until told otherwise. You understand? Do you understand? Okay, yeah. now stay in that position until told otherwise. And you understand that? Go ahead and get in that, back in that position. Nope. <clears throat> Put your left foot on the crack. And what, your like right. These cracks right here? No, the one coming towards me. What do you mean? Okay, you see this crack right here? You're going to place one? your. Yes. You're going to place your left foot on that crack. Go ahead and place your left foot on that crack. Go ahead and place your left foot on the crack just like I am. You see how I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, now place your left foot on the crack. My left? Yes, your left foot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, temple. Okay, we're just, we're just going to pause there, okay? Just go ahead and turn around for me. Put your arms behind your back. Lift your hand. Can I try it? Do what now? What are you going to do, like left and right? We're, we're, we're past that right now, okay? What does that mean, like left and right? Here, don't, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to put you in the back of my police car. You're for, under arrest for driving uh, while intoxicated, okay? So, I'm going to escort you back to my car. Can I try again? I, it's not gonna. It's because not gonna that's matter. gonna mess me up for nursing school. Well, I, well, I'm sorry. You shouldn't drive while intoxicated. That's well, that's your mistake, not my. Here, go this way. Let me get everything out your pockets first. Nothing. You're gonna mess me up forever. Well, I'm I'm sorry. You shouldn't drive while intoxicated. That's well, that's the mistake you made. Okay. And I'm that's we either we either live and learn from it or we don't. Okay. So mm -hmm. This is kind of where you're at right now. Okay. Go ahead and place the seat in the back of my car. You got it. You okay? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's where I'm at in life. Okay. I'm gonna buckle you up here. Lean back for me. That's yeah, it's on my person here. She urinated on herself too, so and I, I think I just got it on my hand, so it's great. What's that? It's no, we're. Yeah, but that's that's not going to change anything, okay? No, ma'am. Do you have do you have hand sanitizer in your car? Yep. Can I get can I get some more driver door? Driver door.
Oh, her glasses are right here too. Yeah, I'll probably need those. Are these? Uh, the keys that were on the trunk or the ones for the car, those go to her. Okay. You, you got this? Yeah, I got I'm this. I'm going to go ahead and take her up to the PD. Yeah. No, you definitely did. Five not to get it. Ten eight, ten nineteen, one female, fifteen. Starting mileage is seven four five one three. Do I now? What do you mean? No. Well, listen, you can, you can treat this for what it is. It can either be a speed bump or you can... Well, Miss Miller, is that, is that right? Miss Miller? I can't, I can't help or change the decisions you made tonight, okay? Well... Well, you still have to think when you have a bad day. This is no excuse. A, a bad day is no excuse to be driving while intoxicated, okay? Well, luckily, you didn't hurt yourself or anyone else in the process. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. step out for me. You got it? Yes, sir. We'll walk you down to the, to the main door here, okay? I'm going to hold on to you so it don't fall, okay? 
I'm a bit of a fucking idiot. Okay. Fine. Watch the steps there, okay? Everybody in is here. It makes me so sad. Stand right there for me. Fucking game drops, really. Take these handcuffs off, okay? You can have a seat, Miss Miller. Have a seat in that chair right there.
Can I get a clipboard? What? A clipboard? All right, Ms. Miller, I'm going to read you your Arkansas Statement of Rights, okay? Go ahead and sit up for me. I'm going to read you your Arkansas Statement of Rights. I'm going to go block by block, and you just let me know if you understand, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to read it for yourself, you're more than welcome to, okay? You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, no? I. Yep. Okay, as in you do? Or I just need a verbal know. yes or no. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, you are advised that any person who operates or is in actual physical control of a motorboat or motor vehicle in this state is deemed to have given consent to one or more chemical tests of his or her breath, saliva, or urine for the purpose of determining the alcohol or controlled substance content of his or her breath or blood. If the person is involved in an accident while operating or an actual physical control of a motorboat on the waters of this state or a motor vehicle or the person is arrested for an offense arising out of an act alleged to have been committed while the person was driving or boating while intoxicated or driving boating driving or boating while there was an alcohol concentration of 800 0.08 or more in the person's breath or blood or at the time of the arrest or I'm sorry, at the time the person is arrested for driving or boating while intoxicated, the law enforcement officer has reasonable cause to believe that that person, while operating or in actual physical control of a motorboat on the waters of this state or a motor vehicle, is intoxicated or has an alcohol concentration of 800, 0.08, or more in the person's breath or blood. Okay, uh, these next few blocks, I'm going to read them line by line. And as long as you understand them, you will initial next to them, okay? You understand that part? Okay. Okay. If you refuse to take a chemical test, none will be given, but you will subject yourself to the penalties provided by law, <clears throat> Excuse me. which includes, but is not limited to, the suspension or revocation of your driving privileges. And if you are a commercial driver's license holder, the disqualification of your commercial driving privileges. Do you understand that, Ms. Miller? What does that mean? So basically, if you, um, I'll let you read it word for word, but if you refuse to take a chemical test, then none will be given, but you will be charged accordingly. Does that make sense? No. What does that mean? So I'm going to request a breath sample, okay? And if you refuse to provide a breath sample, I'm also going to charge you refusal to submit to a chemical test. Does that make sense? No. It's it's a separate charge. It's an additional charge. So like if what well, I don't understand. Like I don't I don't understand. Like like so if, what are you talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna request a breath sample once we get through this Arkansas statement of rights, okay? okay. And then I'm going to have you blow into this machine, and that's going to provide a breath sample. That way, you can determine what the if, alcohol if concentration I, is. I have alcohol or not, and then if it's not, then it is or not, and then if what? What do you mean if what? What do you mean? Okay, I'm just going to read the block again. Okay, and you let me know if you understand. Okay, if you refuse to take a chemical test, none will be given. But you will subject yourself to the penalties provided by law, which includes, but is not limited to, the suspension or revocation of your driving privileges, and if you are a commercial driver's license holder, the disqualification of your commercial driving privileges. So, basically, if... So, basically, if I don't let you have my breathalyzer then you could like take my driver's license away is that what that means that's that's part of it yes ma'am okay so all right do okay. you do you understand that yes okay 
Now I'm just going to have you initial to that block I just read to you. Okay. And that's just saying that you do understand. I understand okay. that. Okay. It's going to be that one right there. Okay. I'm going to read this next block for you. If you choose to take a chemical test and the results reflect an alcohol concentration of 800s or more, or the presence of a controlled substance or any other intoxicant, your driving privilege will be suspended or revoked. And if you are a holder of a commercial driver's license, your commercial driving privileges will be disqualified. Do you understand that? Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Same thing as before, you just initial next to the block I just so showed to you. So if I initial that, that means you could take my driver's license away? I mean, that's, that's part of it. If you blow above the legal limit. So I don't want to do that without my lawyer, right? If if I was to do that. This is this is your Arkansas Statement of Rights, okay? When you, when you go to sign your driver's license, this is pretty much what you're consenting to when so you get your driver's your license. So do I need your lawyer or what? I mean, obviously that's up to you, but this has nothing to do with that. Do I need a lawyer sense. or what? I, I can't answer that question. Do I need a lawyer? I can't answer that question do, for do you. Do I need a lawyer? Okay, I, I'll say it again. I can't answer that do for you. Okay. I mean, I've not done anything wrong other than I got pulled over. Okay. So, do I need a lawyer? <laughs> I, I Period. cannot answer that for you. Okay, okay. well, do I need one or not? I, I don't know what part of I cannot answer that for you that there's not to understand, but I cannot answer that for you. This this right here is just stating that you understand. Okay. That what that if do do uh, I need to read it to you again? No, I'm asking you. Do I need to? I'm not signing anything else unless I need a lawyer, like to say. Whatever you're saying, I'm not. I don't understand what you're saying. What what part do you not understand? I don't understand anything what you're saying. Like you're okay. saying. Do you want me to read read it to you read again? Read it to me again. Okay. All right. If you choose to take a chemical test, okay, and the results reflect an alcohol concentration. Okay, of I eight, did drink. Yes. Okay. Yes. But it was not enough. But I have had where my stomach has been. <clears throat> I have had a whatever, so I'm not even going to go into it, but yeah, so maybe I do need somebody to talk to me about whatever. Okay. I'm going to read this to you again, okay? This is just saying that you understand what I'm reading to you, okay? Okay, talk to me again. Okay. If you choose to take a chemical test and the results reflect an alcohol concentration of 800s or more, I don't even know what 800s or more means. 0 0.08, okay? I mean, what if I blew into it? And what, I mean, what, if that mean, what does that mean? It's going to determine the, the alcohol concentration. Okay, so what if I blow into that and it's, then I'll be in trouble? If you blow into it? If you're over the legal limit, then... Well, I'll be in trouble? I mean, do you, either way, you've been arrested for driving while intoxicated. Well, okay, that's what you're being charged with, okay? I've got more than enough uh, probable cause to believe so, okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Because uh, I... Okay. Okay, I'm going to read this to you one last time, okay? Uh, if you choose to take a chemical test and the results reflect an alcohol concentration of 800s or more, 0 0.08, or the presence of a controlled substance or any other intoxicant, your driving privileges, your driving privilege will be suspended or revoked and if you are the holder of a commercial driver's license, your commercial driving privileges will be disqualified. For how long? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, God. But do you, do you understand that? I'm trying to school. I'm trying to, I'm all by myself. Do you understand what I just read to you, though? No. Tom? Huh? No? What, what part do you not understand? Let's see if I can help you out. Do you want me to read it to you again? No. Okay. Well, do you understand it? 
understand like basically no you're good you're fine do, do you understand what I just read to you yes okay I'm not signing nothing. Do I now? I'm not signing anything. You're not going to sign no, it? I'm but you do understand? I'm not signing anything. Okay. Well, I'm going to read this last one to you. If you take the chemical test requested by law enforcement, you may also, at your own expense, have a physician, registered nurse, lab technician, or other qualified person of your choice administer an additional chemical test. The arresting law enforcement agency will assist you in obtaining such a test if you choose to have an additional test and are later found not guilty of a violation of the Omnius DWI or BWI Act or the underage DUI or BUI law for this arrest, the arresting law enforcement agency will reimburse you for the cost of the additional test. Do you understand that, Ms. Miller? I don't even know what you just said. <clears throat> so, if you but take all of the what? chemical tests that I'm requesting, you can take an additional chemical test at your own expense. And if you're found not guilty at a later date, then the law enforcement agency will reimburse you for the cost of that additional test. Does that make sense? Sure. Do you want me to read it to you again? No, I don't care. Whatever. Okay. Um, uh, that's it. Because... Okay. Same thing as before. You'll just initial next to it stating you understand, okay? Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't want to initial anything because I'm scared that if I initial something, then it might be. Like... This this has nothing to do with with whether or not you're being charged with driving while intoxicated. Does, does that make sense? I'm just upset about my scores at school today. Okay, well let me let me ask you this: Do you understand all parts of these rights I just read to you, Miss Miller? You do? I just need a verbal yes or no that you do understand all of these rights I that I've read to you. I understand that I was, I was stupid and I made some mistakes. Miss Miller, do you, do you understand all parts of these rights I just read to you? I just, how about I have a lawyer? How about that? That has nothing to do with what we're doing right now. How do I get one then? Miss Miller, that's, that's not what I'm asking you right now. Well, I don't even know how this stuff works because they always say you don't say anything until you get one. So I don't even know. They don't, they don't sign nothing. Well, that's, that's not gonna that's not gonna change anything, Miss Miller. Miss Miller, will you take this test for me? What test? I'm going to request a breath test. No, I'm not taking a breath test. No? Okay. I have gum in my mouth. That takes like 30 minutes to even do anything, right? I have mm. gum in my mouth. No, I've, I've, I've waited my 20 minute observation period to just get the gum out. What would that even do if I did that? Like, what if, if you did, did what? That? If you did what? If I took a, a, a gum test. A gum test? I, I have gum on my mouth. That's that's not going to change how much alcohol is in it. I have researched that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Are you going to are you gonna take this chemical test? No. No? Okay. I mean, what if I did? What would it do? It would determine the alcohol concentration. And then what? Wait, you would prosecute me or something? I'm already charging you with driving while intoxicated. That that's not going to change regardless of what you blow. Okay. I I've, haven't even 
I, I went from my son's house to my house, and I wasn't eating. Like, I ate food, and I was fine. I went from school to my son's house to home, and I was fine. Well, I was driving behind you for a few moments before I pulled you over, and, and you were not fine to drive, okay? I, I promise you that. From where, where were you at? From Cabot? Yes, we, we are in Cabot right now. Over at the Dollar General or something? I haven't quite made it that far yet. Was that set with my boyfriend and talking to him on the cell phone? That can help me there, probably. <clears throat> talking to him on the phone. Stupid. I was on the phone with him. I was on the phone. Well, I'm going to give you one last chance. You you want to blow into this machine and provide Why a breath sample? Why would I blow into it? Yes or no? This right here? Yes or no? Well, what would this yes do? Yes or no? What would this do? This would yes or no? Worse. Are you willing to provide a breath sample? Would this make it worse? No, that's not going to make any difference. Yes or no? No. Okay. Of course not. That I've heard that it makes it worse. I've heard that gum makes it worse. Okay. Right? No. No? No. Okay. I'm going to walk into my bucket room. Spit, put that in the trash. Don't put that back in your mouth. That's gross. Put, spit that in the trash. Why? What do you mean, why? Because I told you to. Put that in the trash. We're about to step into the booking room. We're going to finish all this paperwork. Ms. Miller, spit your gum out in the trash, and then we're going to walk into the booking room. Thank you. Walk this way. Okay. Come to the door to the right. Just have a seat in that chair for me. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, no, no, no. This I chair. do actually stand in front of the blue screen. Okay. For me. Actually, here, come this way. Stand in front of the blue screen. I'll be right back. <laughs> 